from the East Tennessee Weather Center. Here's your evening weather update with meteorologist Mike Witcher. I mean, what a gorgeous day it turned out to be. Beautiful sunshine after the clouds have moved on out. Sure, it's been a little bit of breezy at times and warm in the direct sunlight, but still a solid fall day around East Tennessee. So if you want to continue the trend into the evening hours, listen for the football game or even overnight tonight. Tonight's going to be a nice night for a fire pit in the backyard. Now, as long as the wind is has relaxed as we get closer to sundown, which it should be, it should be a great night to do so. So that means overnight lows as dew points continue to fall. Overnight lows will continue to fall as well. We're talking low temperatures on Sunday morning in the 50, 40s and 50s. So it's going to be incredibly comfortable. Well, rather cool anyways, if you're heading off to church or have outdoor morning plans. But other than that, we're going to warm back to those uh, upper 70s to pockets of low 80s. So similar to what we experienced on our uh, Saturday, but Sunday is going to be much more of the same. So dry air, it's going to feel a little bit better because the air is going to be a little bit drier than what it was throughout the day on Saturday. Our temperature trend, enjoy your Sunday because we're going to go back close to those seasonal averages as we get into the middle part of the week and then a little bit below average towards the end of the week as we track another little system that may bring us a little bit of rain. But looking ahead from the Climate Prediction Center, it looks like we're going to be trending above average for the next 6, 10, 8 to 14 days out. So enjoy your Sunday because warmer weather is working its way back in. Rain chances, pretty lackluster. 20% at best, I think, as we get into our Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of next week. That really should be about the extent of it. When you look at the seven-day rainfall forecast, it's, well, fairly lackluster. So we don't have a lot of moisture moving its way on through. Just a couple of spotty showers, I think, towards the end of the week. And that's not great news because as we look into uh, the next 6, 10, 14 days out, we are still looking at the possibility of below average when it comes to precipitation. So we definitely need the moisture as we head into the rest of September, into October, very dry months. And let's talk about fall. Now, I know it's early in the season so far, uh, but I wanted to throw this out there for you. Average fall peak foliage, okay? So when did the colors really start to peak? Well, here around East Tennessee, we're talking about mid to late October, really. Uh, early October for the Smoky Mountains, so we're still a long ways away, got plenty of time. But something to kind of keep in mind, and now's the time to start planning those outdoor adventures to go check out the leaves and the changing colors as we continue through fall. So uh, have a way to receive weather information. Check in with the East Tennessee Weather app. If you don't have it, it's a one-stop shop for weather, all weather, all the time here in East Tennessee. Just go to the Google Play Store or the App Store and search East TN Weather, all one word. Have a great rest of your night. Enjoy this nice, comfortable weather. Enjoy your Sunday. I'll have more weather updates on Sunday morning. Check back in.